Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting and my bullet journal. So today I am finally going to get to do my June uh, monthly overview as well as my budget. And um, this month I have three paydays. Um, so I have the 1st, the 15th, and the 29th. So I am going to go over my budget with you and see where everything falls. So anyway, if that is something you're interested in seeing, keep watching. So first I'm going to do my monthly overview. You might have already seen this if you watched my um, bullet journal set up with me um, for the month of June. If not, I'll link that up above. It so like I said, I get paid. Um, actually, let's start up here. Just because my pens are, they do tend to smudge um, if they're if they don't dry properly. I'm gonna go ahead and do this top thing up here, and it just these are my notes. And so next month, July anyway, um, there is another Marvel movie coming out, and that is Thor: Love and Thunder. So I do plan to see that and I like to write down um, these kind of things or even events that I might be, you know, spending money for. It's just a little reminder. There we go. And then that was my 0.5 pen. And then for my paydays, I like to use my um, 1.0 just because it writes bolder. Um, day there and again I do erase the pencil under once the ink dries um, I just like to have it there so that way I don't have to reference um, like a scrap piece of paper off to the side or something it's just all penciled in so on the first the rent is due and that's already budgeted into my May um, paychecks so I don't really have to worry about the rent on the first and then I have my Bank of America credit card that's due um, I'm doing okay with keeping that as at a zero balance right now same with my Chase and my Old Navy but I do like to write down the dates there that way it gives me a little reminder to check my balance um, if I haven't done so if I haven't done so already, um, that way I don't miss a payment because I do use my credit cards, but I pay them down to zero before the next closing. Um, and then also on the fourth, I have my AD and D. And then on the fifth, I have my PG and E, and that will be under this payday, the, the first. And then I have my T-Mobile bill that's gonna come out on the 7th. And then my iCloud, and this is storage. And then on the 13th, I have, I have Delta Care. And that's dental. And then water is due on the 14th. And then I have another payday on the 15th. So I'm doing that in the bold pen. And then ESP Vision. And then on the 17th, I have my car insurance. And on the 17th, I also have that gym membership that I still haven't canceled. I am going to keep writing it until I cancel it because I don't want it to come as a surprise. I know I should just cancel it, but at this point, I'm like a broken record. Um, Netflix is due on the 22nd. It doesn't look like I'll be canceling that anytime soon because my daughter is watching it. Um, in case you guys didn't know, um, she is away at college, although she's 
technically, as I'm filming this, she's home for the week, um, but she does go back for summer school and she likes to watch Netflix on her downtime. We also have Disney Plus and Hulu, which is due on the 27th. Um, I think I'm watching that more so than Netflix these days. Um, so yeah. And then I have another payday on the 29th, which is great because I can use these three paydays to, um, to save up for my July um, rent and bills and stuff. And the reason that's important is um, in May, I was not bulking up that, that fund as much because I had expenses related to getting my daughter moved out of her dorm and then back in this coming weekend. So just the whole traveling back and forth, the gas, and then also having her home, having to spend more money on food, um, buying more household items, that sort of thing. Um, and then rent. So this is July and gray. And then rent is due on the first. And I figured I might as well just write down the B of A and the Chase also. So that is my monthly overview. These are my bills due in the month of June. Some of these I already have funded from, from my previous um, paychecks, um, but some of them are not. And so that's what I'm gonna go over my monthly budget. And if you are interested in seeing that, I will be filming that today, right after this one. And this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.